Acidosis is usually, usually associated with feeding high levels of grain and low levels of forage. Um, it, it occurs when the pH of the rumen drops very quickly and the ratios of the volatile fatty acids change significantly. Now acetic acid is usually present in much greater volumes than other volatile fatty acids. Acetic acid is actually the product from, that results when fibre is fermented. Propionic acid is very important for providing energy to the cow. It is the volatile fatty acid that is produced when starch is fermented. Now lactic acid is always produced within the rumen, but under normal rumen situation, lactic acid is actually further fermented onto propionic or acetic acids. So at an, what we'd consider a normal rumen pH, down above six, between six and seven, um, lactic acid does not actually accumulate. In the case of acidosis, we tend to see a drop in pH, so pH will start dropping off, it is the cellulitic bacteria, so the fibre fermenters, the bacteria that produce acetate, that are actually affected first. By the time rumen pH drops below 6, acetic acid levels drop right off. Propionic acid will keep being produced, but if pH levels get to 5 or less, those two will drop off. Now, a consequence will be, a consequence of low acetic acid levels is that you will have low milk fat, which is often associated with with acidosis. Once propionic, propionic acid levels also drop off, you can run into problems with milk protein and certainly milk volume. Once pH gets down below this level of five is when real problems start to occur. You end up with very sick cows and it's literally a cascade of problems from here on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, acidosis is most usually associated with high levels of grain and low levels of forage. Um, it is imperative to be able to, to buffer the rumen properly so that this situation does not occur. Performance DFM provides the bacteria, the enzymes and the yeast. Um, the bacteria are important because they actually help manipulate the microbial population. While they are actually responsible for the production of lactic acid, it is the yeast that will stimulate certain bacteria that make sure that this does not accumulate. It is actually converted through to acetate and propionate. The yeast plays a second role. It actually competes directly with a bacteria called Streptococcus bovis, which is the primary lactic acid producer in the rumen. One of the bacterial strains in DFM, lactobacillus, um, is also a big contributor to preventing acidosis. Um, it too um, significantly reduces the activities of Streptococcus bovis. As we said, Streptococcus bovis is the major lactate producer. In this way, DFM can actually do a great job at buffering, at buffering the rumen um, and preventing the onset of acidosis, even in situations where reasonably high levels of grain are being fed.